Good morning, players. So we're in the final stretch of the Supreme Court session, and they issued some startling decisions this morning. Let's get into it. So in its biggest decision on homelessness in decades, the Supreme Court today ruled that cities can ban people from sleeping and camping in public places. The justices in a six to three decision along ideological lines overturned the lower court's ruling that deemed it cruel and unusual under the Eighth Amendment to punish people for sleeping outside if they have nowhere else to go. Now, Justice Gorsuch wrote for the majority saying that homelessness is complex. Its causes are many, but federal judges do not have any special competence to decide how cities should deal with this. In a dissent, Justice Sotomayor said that the decision today focused only on the needs of the cities, but not on the most vulnerable. Uh, she said that sleep is a biological necessity, but this decision leaves a homeless person with an impossible choice, either stay awake or be arrested. Now on to the Justice Department and its obstruction statute. Uh, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of a former Pennsylvania police officer who was charged with obstructing an official proceeding after he entered the U.S. Capitol building on January 6th. They narrowed the Justice Department's use of a federal obstruction statute. The court ruled in a 6-3 to three decision, finding that uh, to prove a violation of the obstruction of law, the government must show that the defendant impaired the availability or integrity of records, documents, or other objects used in that official proceeding. The Supreme Court's decision could now affect ongoing prosecutions of nearly 250 defendants charged with obstruction for their participation in January 6th. Also, um, it could crucially uh, impact the federal prosecution of frumpy to the motherfucking dump. Also, we have the 1984 Chevron versus Natural Resources Defense Council case. Uh, in a 6-3 to three ruling, the conservative justices overturned a 40-year precedent that gave federal agencies more regulatory authority. Uh, the Supreme Court uh, ruling cited the 1946 Administrative Procedures Act as justification for weakening federal agencies' uh, regulatory power. The 1984 Chevron case gave agencies stronger power to regulate the environment, food safety, and a variety of other activities regulated under federal law. But Chief Justice Roberts wrote uh, for the majority today, and he said that Chevron's presumption is misguided because agencies have no special competence in resolving statutory ambiguities. In a dissent for the uh, liberal justices, uh, Justice Eileen Kagan wrote that... Um, Abandoning Chevron's deference uh, will have a ripple effect throughout the government, making it difficult to respond to urgent new problems and limiting the ability of agencies to carry out congressional mandates on everything from environment to food and drug safety. All decisions that were released today by the Supreme Court were in favor of the conservative majority. It is high time that we uh, institute term limits on the Supreme Court um, expand the Supreme Court and also have a code of ethics for the Supreme Court. Um, we still have Frumpy Dump's immunity claim that will be released on July 1st. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is Double D. Mo what are the homeless people supposed to do? I, players, put it in the comments. This is Double D. Mo for the Black Hurt News.